Welcome to Rebel Life Boxing, where I talk boxing and anything in between. Make sure to catch new videos daily at 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 1 p.m., and 5 p.m. Also, catch an early bird video weekdays at 6 a.m. Support the channel, and thanks for watching. What's up, y'all? Weird day out today. <coughs> Hold on for a second. Motherfucker done put on too much fucking blistex. Shit, look. Oh, it's nasty. But anyway. I just want to talk real quick about Blue Blood Sports TV, man. Because it seems like some of his members of his team and, and a lot of the fans, the the, the, the Spence fanboys, and a lot of the dudes that's pro Spence, it seems like they turn it on Blue Blood, man, for his opinion on Terrence Crawford. They don't want him... They a lot of the Spence fans, they think Errol, they think Terrence Crawford was always planning to fight David Avenesia from the beginning. Blue Blood doesn't believe that. That's one of the things he don't believe. And they're flaming him for not believing that. I just got through saying that in a video, man. The, this whole thing where everybody got to believe the same thing. It's a dangerous mentality to have, man. Where you got to always follow... The script. Everybody have to think the same. That's 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 drone talk, man. That's that's like slave shit. If everybody thought the same, this world would be dull, bro. You know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have people that veer off to the right a little bit, people that veer off to the left. You're not gonna have a bunch of lemmings that's gonna always follow the same path like everybody else. And they wanted blue blood to do that. And it looked like he went a little off script. And I told y'all. That eventually somebody was gonna like go off script and they was gonna probably get flamed for it. It's kinda like what happened to Fanon almost, but I see that happening with Blue Blood Sports TV now. It looks like a lot of these a lot of these clowns are trying to come for him because he voiced his opinion, man. It's sad. You can't even voice your opinion no more without grown ass men getting in their fucking feelings, bro. I'll say it again. There's people out there saying that Terrence Crawford is to blame for this. I don't care. I'm like, oh my God. You shouldn't be saying that about Terrence Crawford. I can't fuck with you like that no more because you don't agree with, you don't fall in line with the beliefs of Terrence Crawfordism. Come on, guys. Are we men or are we bitches, man? Which one is it, man? A lot of his own fellow channels is doing that. Not all of them. Some of them are. But the fans, bro, they are going in on him, turning on him pretty much, man. Is that loyalty? I don't see any loyalty to me, man. These are the same dudes that they told their daughters and their sons when they was born, y'all, I'm going to love you no matter what. And then their son turned out gay or their daughter turned out lesbian. Oh, I can't fuck with you like that no more. I disown you crazy bro but blue blood will be all right he's probably the biggest money maker over there on that team anyway he'll be fine but as far as the fans um i man they, listen they are trying to crucify terrence crawford you should see some of these channels man like knockout and all these fucking idiots you know what i mean um arrow had a fight date some dumb shit he was saying and now all of a sudden bud fighting avanesian like, okay what fight day Bud had? Okay, uh, that Errol. If Errol did have a fight day, what that got to do with Terrence Crawford? If he fighting in November, obviously it's not Bud. Obviously Bud wanted to fight him, right? They ain't make the fucking fight. It's that simple. Now, other channels are getting into some extreme shit, though. You see the comments. I saw some caller that fuck with a certain channel. You know, the Graveyard Channel. Ah. Uh. Dude said, hey, I'm so mad at Terrence Crawford right now, I could spit in his face. I'm so mad at Bud, he could die. I'm not making this shit up, bro. It's, it, go, man, it's, it's on this dude's live. You think this motherfucker's like saying, nah, don't say that, homie. That's not good. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't say that. It's not that serious. Nah. He letting his fucking followers say this dumb shit. 
is that's extremism when you want somebody to die because you can't get a boxing fight, a, a boxing match, man. I wish that dude would call over one of my lives. I'll rip his motherfucking ass to shreds, bro. The nerve of these dudes. But this is what this is this is what they expect. This is what happens when you have a cult and you in a clique or a gang that's that that ride with one narrative. When you go off course, bro, they disown, they disown you, start attacking you, and that's what's happening with Blue Blood Sports TV. It's not happening in full force yet. Mark my words, by the end of this week coming up, or during this week, you're going to see a lot of attacks on Blue Blood Sports TV, man. I never really had much against Blue Blood, but there was a lot of things. He used to twist a lot of shit up a little bit. It still is, in, in, in a sense, but for the most part, can't be mad at the guy for other shit, man. You know what I mean? If he feel like he he don't feel like it's Buzz's fault, that's how he feel. If he don't feel like it's Errol's fault, that's how he feel. Can't get mad at the man and try to bury him because you don't like what he's saying. That is homo shit, bro. That's sucker homo shit, man. Anyway. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the oncoming attack on Blue Blood Sports TV. It's your boy Rebel Like Boxing, man. I'll catch y'all later on the next one. Then I'm out. Peace.